The golden water was in a small tank because we were in studio, so we built a tank that was not very big, maybe six by six, and I had a scuba cam thing and I just put a swimming costume on and got in the water and the, the actress, you know, got in the water. I don't remember how we did the golden backlight. Maybe we had some Sputnik lights and yeah, just played, you know, in the little tank. The exploding trees was really good fun because we really wanted to explode trees and that was a bit more complicated. Probably there was the most challenging shot of the commercial. And so they had to build, you know, the, this kind of dynamic things inside the trees to make them explode. We had the Ari Sun and a couple of 18Ks and we just backlit the trees. Basically put the lights as close as we could that it was safe and they were not gonna break with the <laughs> trees flying. And it was barely enough light because we wanted to shoot as slow as possible. So we were like a thousand frames, I think maximum with the phantom because we, we had to light like a very big surface so yeah we just positioned all the lights we had mostly from one side quarter back light and i think maybe we had another one on the other side and they let us uh, build it in the back lot of chinechita but i don't think they were really aware of what we were doing so when we started exploding the trees uh, there was this big thing with the police because the planes were coming to land I think they had to like change the route of the planes or some, something like really big happened with that. We had a few cameras I think for that day so that we had like different sizes. So I think we did like three or four explosions and then they were like, okay, now you have to run, go back to Denver. So the only exterior stuff, I think it was the trees and it was outside the studio. But mostly it was done in studio, building things and playing with smoke and light and a little bit of art department and mirrors and all those things that, that we had had fun in Neon Demon and we wanted to take even further. And there's that shot where the camera is kind of flying through the desert dunes and at the end there's this eye. And so that was just like a very small build in the studio, like maybe you know, like six foot wide by six foot uh, deep with very small, you know, sand dunes. And in, at the end, we have this painting with the esoteric eye. And so I was just trying to see how to light it and figure now, you know, do I make it very artificial? Do I make it with some crazy neon demon color or do I make it natural? And at some point I had the idea of making a hole in the eye and putting the light through the eye and so we just asked the production designer to cut a hole and we put the light there and then that became the light of the of the scene and of course we're all like yeah <laughs> you know we're just trying all that stuff because nobody's watching you know nobody it's like it was like a free license to do whatever we wanted and they they were expecting a crazy you know rough and briar thing after what we had done so uh, yeah it was really really amazing to be so free and try stuff. First, when I started filmmaking, I didn't even know that filmmakers were filming the television commercials. You know, I had nobody in my family in the film industry. And then, of course, when I graduated and came to the real world and I started to understand how things work, I started to shoot commercials to support myself. And I actually discovered that it, it's the best combination for me because me being so picky with the films that I do, and doing one a year, sometimes none, uh, I need to be doing also something else. Then it's really great to have the two things separate. Then the movies can be as our house as they are, and I tend to choose the very our house ones. And then I can make a good living with commercials. And that also allows me to have a really amazing crew, because I take my crew to all the commercials and they all make a lot of money. And then when I have a tiny budget our house movie that I really want to do, I have a top-notch top crew that is gonna come with me and do that because they know they're gonna get their money back later. First time I met Nicholas was in a meeting for Neon Demon. So Neon Demon was the first thing that we shot together. And right after Neon Demon, we went to Italy to do Hennessy. And the nice thing about the commercial was that it was a totally open brief and we could come up with any image that we wanted and just 
to create a collection of images. So it was like, in a way, like swimmer, like a very poetic, you know, there's not a story to tell. This character doesn't have to go from A to B. You just do some crazy images and have fun with it. We just made a list of crazy things that we wanted to shoot. And then we just got the elements and shot them. I wish all the commercials were like that, you know. You don't get those very often. Thank you.